Coach Flynn, second place finish for you guys. I think w we're third. Third? I think we're third. You guys got right or past you. I think so. In looking at it, what did you got? You know, you had five one seats. Your red shirt, one of your best guys, is operating a camera for me. But I know that your philosophy is we got to win with the guys we have. What's your message to the guys? Shomers, that's a tough performance right there. Yeah. He gets pinned, but what's the message to the guys here after this one? Well, I just think we have to get better, you know? Not only the guys going to the Nationals, but the guys that didn't make it, you know? And we're, right now, we're just, you know, we're not a good enough team to win the tournament. So, we've got a lot of improvement, you know, to be had. With guys you kept on the shelf, do you think there's, uh, do you, do you even play through those scenarios or just we got the guys we got? Oh, we got the guys we got. Everybody has injured guys. Everybody's got guys that are out or red-shirted. We had our best team that, that we have here and wasn't good enough. When you look at Billy, Billy's going to his third NCAA championship. This is uh, going to be the first one for Shomers. What do you expect? Two different expectations for the guys? What, what do you say to the guys? How do you coach those guys differently? I won't coach them differently. I mean, they have to do what they do well, and they've got to do more of it, you know, if they plan on placing at the NCAA tournament or, or winning. So, you know, again, we've got a week and a half to fine-tune things, and, and we will. Shomer's knee okay? I think so. I, I really don't know. I think he just tweaked it. I look at it. Soriano, he defaults out of the Big Ten. Sean's in this thing. I think Sean's – he's a threat. I think a lot of people, it kind of – four or five guys can win. Sean's a serious threat. He's a good wrestler, and I think when he wrestles his match, I think he can compete with anybody, you know, and, and uh, it's a tough weight, and, but, you know, we got a good guy, so you know, I have confidence in my guy. What's your final count for guys that you're going to be taking? Is it four? Four, I, I think we, we've got to hope for a, a wild card at 74. Um, you know, I think we got to wait and see it that way. We look at Ty's match. It's almost like that guy's just a bad matchup for him. Sherry just like he doesn't like play the game with Ty at all. You know how does how do you get him? Maybe wrestle that guy a third time potentially at the NCAAs. What, do, what does Ty do different? Keeps his level low, you know, and doesn't get into a war. I just think like if he keeps his level down, he can stop a lot of those shots. So I think it's really that basic. Just pay, don't get into a war. Yeah, and he, you just got to stay low. I mean, the guy's shooting low on you, and he's hitting your feet. So got to get his level down. He's got to move his feet better. But. 133 is wide open. Corbin can be a guy. He can definitely be on the podium. Do you have confidence in Corbin? I do. He's been wrestling well. I, I think when he's at his best, he's, he's hard to beat. So I, you know, I, I'm interested to see how he's going to do in two weeks. I'm happy with where he is. I mean, I'm really excited when I look at him, man. That's a guy... People are sleeping on a guy like that. Yeah. Again, I mean, it's, it's hard, you know, there's a lot of good guys out there, but, you know, he has the ability to do it, so I, I, I think he'll do well. You guys had a ton of injuries, you had guys quit, you lost guys. What do you do about that? Is that just Nothing. the sport? You move, you move forward with the guys you have, and, and you recruit new guys, and, you know, and uh, that's all you can do. So, we, you know, we'll we'll move forward with the guys we got, and I, I think we got some great guys, and, uh you know, we got some good recruits coming in, so, you know, we'll be okay.